Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy, and last year I made a series of quick little videos talking about the top three meta weapons for each class in Bass Food 1 according to usage numbers. Those lists were for mid-2017, so with all of the announced DLC so far now having been released for Battlefield 1, it seems like a good time to update the list and see how things have changed for early 2018. I've already produced the assault list and the support list which are linked to in the description below and in my pinned comment if you haven't already seen them, along with the list I produced last year, if you'd like to see how things have changed or haven't changed. For this set of lists we'll be using the kill percentage totals per class to pick our top three, and we'll continue today with the medic class. So at number one we have the auto loading 8.25 extended, and I'm sure you're all aware of just how popular this thing now is. As of the 12th of March 2018, this weapon was the most popular medic choice whilst this video was being produced, having accounted for 12.1% of medic kills so far that day. It has a potentially lightning fast kill time if you have a quick trigger finger. In fact, I received a message accusing me of cheating whilst recording this very footage because of just how quickly this thing can drop people. 16 available rounds per reload also helps you to go on pretty quick little streaks and it's just a damn fine weapon overall. Plus, the TTK 2.0 patch has helped the auto loading to feel effective at longer ranges than before. It can be pretty insane for the right player, so if you can spam a trigger nice and fast whilst remaining accurate, then this might be the weapon for you. In close competition with the auto-loading extended is the M1907 SL Sweeper, which has accounted for just 0.5% less of the total medic kills on this day. It again boasts a very fast times kill, plus it's a fully automatic weapon. So we're seeing a trend here. Generally, people like to be able to kill other people nice and quickly in the easiest manner possible. Obviously, the Sweeper also has increased range capabilities now due to the same reason as the auto-loading, and that range capability can be further enhanced by utilizing tap firing when necessary. Necessary. That, combined with how effective spraying is at close quarters, makes the sweeper a force to be reckoned with, especially in smaller game modes and in tighter areas of the larger maps. And to round out our top three, we have the Fedorov Avtomat Trench, which makes for a list based around maximum killing potential at close quarters. The Fedorov feels like an assault weapon, as I'm sure most of you are aware, but these three weapons for me are all basically interchangeable for the same basic playstyle most of the time. The Fedorov specifically can be sprayed like an SMG and makes your medic feel like an assault with magical healing powers who can just rush the enemy as much as they wish until they eventually die. However, the top three spot does tend to switch between the Fedorov and the self Sladder Marksman, it just so happens that on this day the Fedorov was ahead. But a clear pattern has been formed. As far as I can tell, people like to be aggressive with medics a lot of the time. So, what do you think of the top three medic meta weapons? Are you a fan of them? Are you sick of them? Do you prefer to use other options? Let me know in the comment section below. I personally had expected to see what I consider to be the more versatile archetype on the list. Those being the Farquhar, the Howl and the Mondragon. Or maybe even see the super powerful R see, but currently, no. Maybe one day things will begin to shift. Now we need to quickly shoot over to the Board of Awesome show our respect to the fantastic people who choose to support the channel on Patreon. A big thanks to a new name on here this time, Stephen Kilby. It's super appreciated, dude, and thanks to everyone on the board. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below and in my pinned comment, where you can support the channel from as little as $1 a month if you so wish. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos videos and feel free to like, favorite and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time, laters.